Graybar has been around for a very long time, and the person at its helm, Kathy Mazzarella, is the only female CEO of a Fortune 500 company in St. Louis. One of the unique attributes that Kathy has as a leader is that she's constantly thinking about everything she's exposed to and how we can take that and make it a benefit to Graybar. And it's safe to say she knows this company from the ground up. My first role was a customer service rep. I knew nothing about business. I was 19 years old and had dropped out of college, so I needed a job. What she did next is a blueprint for success. I used it as an opportunity to network with other people in the organization. I was never afraid to ask for help. I was never afraid to say I didn't know anything, and I worked very, very, very hard. I asked more questions and listened than I talked. And I did a lot of research on my own. I went back to school at night because I knew that I had to finish my degree. All while raising two daughters with the husband she's known since high school, Kathy says success is never one individual. I would not be in this position if it wasn't for my husband, my children, and my father. It started with my father, of course, who was always a big advocate to make sure that you reached for the stars and no matter what you did. Kathy says the father-daughter connection benefited her even without family ties. Some of the best mentors and coaches I had were men who had daughters about my age. I always thought the reason that they're helping me is because that someday they hope that someone would help their daughters. So I always view it if somebody comes to me and says, look at my daughter's interested in a career perhaps in business or in construction or some other field that may be related to mine, I always take that opportunity if I have the chance to sit down and at least have coffee with them and talk about what are their aspirations. Kathy says it's all about constantly improving. She didn't just take up martial arts, she got a black belt. Her job entails a lot of travel, but when she's charting her own course, she prefers to learn about different cultures, whether backpacking through Japan or climbing volcanoes in Indonesia. For me, it's all about improving yourself on a constant basis. I can't stop. I don't know what it is. If it's in my DNA, I have no idea. But to me, it's all about, again, learning, developing, improving yourself, no matter what.